Hi guys, Chuck's back. Got a couple of batteries here. Here's a Dyson that's going to be fun to pull apart because I've never pulled one of these apart. Apparently it has 21.6 volts at 350 watts. Well, we'll check that out, won't we? Yeah. So we'll play with that. And another Lenovo, which I'll pull apart real quick. Using gloves, make sure you're wearing gloves when you're doing this stuff. Oh look, Sony batteries, all good. So we'll check that later. Um, and this one's still flashing, so I'd say the BMS is still working in it, or it's faulty. So I'm gonna go with faulty BMS. Uh, how does this thing open? Well, it's charged from the back, so it's got a charge port at the back, like that. And I've really gotta get a new camera. And it's using a star drive. So what do we got in star drives that I can rip out and just use real quick? Give it a try. No, oh, just a little bit too small. That one's right. Look at that. Second one I grab. You know you're doing well if you're getting the second one. Nice screw. They can go up there, you never know. I might use them again. So I'd say these would be out of the uh, the DC model vacuum cleaner. Not 100% sure. Guys looked at me kind of funny that I wanted these ones. Ooh, it's going, it's going blue, guys, and green. Blues and greens. I'm trying to pull it apart. This might be interesting to pull apart because I've never pulled one of these apart before. I'm wondering here. Yeah. This is a good way of finding if it's got a screw on the back. Just giving it a rub along to see if there's anything there. But I don't think it's got any screws on the back of this. You destroy one to find out about the other. Try and get in the middle, just in case you've got batteries there that are going to hit, like these ones. I'm going to arc it out, like that. That was the LED just went on and off. There's a the battery pack that we got in there. Looks like these are using Sony's as well, but getting at the parts going to be interesting. Because it is not what I think it is. I'm trying to get it apart. Oh, here's a screw. How about you? I'm out. I'm going to have to think about this because it does not want to come apart. Tell you what though, they've made it nice and safe for me. Okay, so these, these ones have got lugs, lugs, and lugs 
So you've got to break the lugs open to get it open. Oh, that doesn't smell good. I think I just arced it out the old teeny bit. The wire loose there. Let's say that was going down there a minute ago. I'm going to have to cut it. Because I think this is really tight. I'm thinking scissors are the way they go, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Looking at the case, I think that's the only way you can get them out. When they're pushed in, they're pushed in. Unless you can go to a good one and they'll come out easier. That's it. Nothing else. There's no screws in the bottom of it. You can look in there. Pretty hard to see. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll keep working on them. We'll see how these come up. They look like they're Sony batteries. Sony Black. They've got the black uh, tops on them. So we'll pull it apart and have a look. So wish me luck. Catch you on the next one. Please subscribe and ring that bell. And please give me a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give me a not like. Note on these Dyson batteries. They've got a beautiful pack that they won't fall out of. But for some reason, Dyson's gluing them in and you're ending up with ripped sleeves. So be careful with that. So they're trying to make them not repairable. And um, it's just a waste. It's a beautiful, beautiful pack here. Look at this. You've got these clips. That's your negative side when you put the clip in, like on this one. And yeah, BMS is pretty good. But as I said, you have little spots like that that cause problems. One last bit, there's also, if you look inside there, you can see the black bit and it's on both sides. They've only got one heat sensor and it's related to the last two batteries. And there's the actual two pins there where my thumb is. Um, yeah, I thought they would have had at least two, but they've failed to do that. And they've only got two just if if, if it has thermal runaway and uh, yeah if you pop it up now you can see those temperature sensor sitting right here and it comes out of the top very good pack I um, shorted a little bit there do not this is a safety one do not put these things together by accident you might accidentally bump them and they'll pull a lot of amps out of them anyway um, don't want to be copyrighted but you have to cut that to get the batteries out, otherwise they won't come out on some of the Dysons.